Uh, today we will see the five most amazing things we can do in command prompt using codes. So let's begin with that. In order to start command prompt, we'll hit the key Windows plus R just to run. Okay, as you see, the run window appears here. We just type C, sorry, CMD, hit enter. There you go. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in C drive under the user shuffle. Okay, so I'll I'll code I'll use a code M O D E mode space 55. That will you know uh, that will in enlarge my command prompt screen. Hit enter. Okay. So let's see mode space 155. Okay. As you can see, a big screen I got here. Okay, then CD backless come to the root. Okay, and the command I'm gonna use here is I'll create a folder by using command prompt, and and that won't like you cannot delete that folder by using you know delete option. You can just delete that particular folder by using command prompt. You can create by using command prompt, and you can delete by using command prompt. Okay so let's quickly go to the drive let me see what drive we have here battery okay okay so we are in okay let's go to my pc okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a folder in my uh, d drive with the name of ox okay so make sure you mention the same file name what i'm gonna use here okay so if you want that if you want to use that file name no if you create that folder also it will be deleted so i'll put those names whatever names you can keep for your folder in the description below okay so let's jump into the drive so make sure where you want to create the folder you have to get into that particular drive okay so i'm going to create folder in d drive i'll get into the d drive first okay and then I'm, I'm inside the D drive, okay. Type MD space AUX aux hit enter. Oh, oops, MD AUX backslash. Now, as you can see here, as you can see in my D drive, a new folder created with the name of aux, okay. So, even though if I want to delete this folder, it won't allow me to delete. Click on delete. So as you can see, you could not find this item. This is no longer created in the drive. So if you even try again, you can't delete this folder because there are some certain words or some certain, you know, asterisks that is defined by Microsoft and that won't be deleted easily. Okay. So in order to delete that folder, you need to type rd space aux aux backslash hit enter. Done. You can go again and you see there is the folder is no longer remaining here okay so you can use this folder you can create this folder and you can put your like you know uh, like sensitive items or you no know, that in order to keep your uh, things safe or your data safe in that folder so no one can delete that folder okay so and i'll use this command here cls in order to clear the screen okay so let's go back to the c drive And now I'm going to show you something very uh, no, interesting that will uh, it's, it's like a timer okay when you initiate this command your system will go under timer countdown and when it reaches zero okay then your system will get shut down okay let's begin with that command that is shut shutdown space dash s space dash t t is stands for the timer space and the number which you're gonna put here is in seconds okay click on that so suppose I put here 60 that means in 60 seconds it will count down up to zero when zero hits my system will shut down you just press enter you'll get a notification you will be you you are about to be signed out your system will shut down in less than one minute so the countdown has been started in order to stop that countdown you type shut down 
space dash a hit enter so the timer had so this command is to stop the timer okay from getting shut down again if you want to check whether this timer has been stopped or not you can just do it again shut down space dash a hit enter so unable to avoid the system shutdown because no shutdown was in progress so it has already been stopped here okay and the next thing uh, we're gonna move to you know like there are certain websites we want to know the IP address of the website and it's easiest way I'll show you how we can by using the ping command you can you know obtain the you can obtain a particular website IP address suppose okay type this command ping space in your website like you can say wix.com so make sure you don't put www in front of the website name okay so I'll just put wix.com okay wix please check okay I think there's a connectivity issue with my system so make sure you you're connected to the internet so let me see here okay this got connected again ping wix.com and I hit enter as you can see here this is uh, retrieving data from this particular website and this is the IP address of this particular Wix website if it is copy and paste in your browser you can you know you can find the uh, or say you can find the uh, website or just copy this okay I'll show you another way okay if you want to know the origin of this particular IP address copy the IP address select and put uh, press copy control plus C and I'll show you okay so let's come here so website name whois who is dot com now you go to the search bar just put the IP address and click on who is so this will determine the IP address origin and a lot of information you will see the address of the person is Alex Sifon Young and you see the address here is Rae telephone number a lot more information and again the other person is you know the route and other things everything you have the all the information related to this IP address okay so yeah you can do a lot of things with this and the third one we're gonna see here is if you want to know the IP address of your system of your PC so uh, you can just put IP C O N F I G IP config so here you go you have a lot of information Ethernet adapter you know this a status of the you know the adapter it is disconnected the LAN is also disconnected and you see a lot of information here okay the IPv4 was for uh, you know the subject mask and all the information get rid of and you see the IPv6 IP address 192 this is the IP address of my system so you get a lot of information by using this okay so let's clearly clear the screen CLS hit enter to clear the screen so the most amazing thing I'm gonna so show you right now here is I'm gonna hide my drive okay so I have four or five drives I'm not sure how many I have here okay there you go so I have like you know many drives here so I wanna hide my drive F okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to command prompt okay and what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna just type disk part D I S K P A R T disk part hit enter you get a new uh, you, you, you need to allow this particular sorry particular option to pop sorry you, you should have to give the permission sorry you have to give the permission and allow this access so once you got into this particular uh, disk part you need to type list okay volume sorry yeah with the space list volume and then you hit enter so you got a lot of information here okay so as i said uh, i wanna it is kali line kali linux is in f drive okay so there you go this is in the four okay so volume four kali linux okay so as i see here now what I'll do, I'll type select. Sorry, set. Okay, so we select. Select volume four. In your case, it might be a different number. So make sure you are just putting the correct volume number in front of the, you know, drive name. 
and then you press enter okay I'm sorry okay so as you can see here the volume 4 is the selected volume okay so now what we have to do we have to remove the letter F as it is assigned for the volume 4 okay we have to type here remove remove I'm sorry remove letter F So as you can see this process is this part successfully remove the drive letter or mount point. Let's go to the drive quickly here and oh my god. I'm just amazed I don't see the drive here. You can just see there's no F drive here that was Kali Linux. I don't see her okay. Okay, got it. So now if, if I want to bring it back, you have to do the entire procedure once again, okay? So I'll just go and close all this program. And I just want to bring back my F drive. No, I'm pretty. <laughs> I don't know what will happen. It's gonna come back or not. Let's see. So I'll press Windows T plus R in order to run. It's all there. CMD command. Okay. Now again, I, I'm I'm just going to comp uh, no, run all the procedure up to the four points. Okay. So we'll do the same procedures. Uh, at the last command we'll just change the command but rest of the procedure remains same in order to bring back your drive okay the remove drive so uh, let's begin with that type disk part so it will ask permission to pop up a new window we got it here okay now you have to type here list List disk. Wait a second here. Okay. I'm sorry. It's list volume. List volume. You got all here, and as you can see here, our oh, sorry. You see here our volume four Kali Linux is here, but uh, it, there is no letter assigned to volume four. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna. I'm gonna select okay select select volume volume 4 because in my case it is volume 4 for your case it might be different so in my case the volume 4 is the Kali Linux which was assigned by letter F okay and this now it's no longer so what I'll do set first select the volume 4 hit enter okay you now see a uh, volume 4 is the selected volume it's showing volume now what I have to do, I have to assign, I have to assign letter F, okay. So I'll just type here AS assign letter F. That means I'm assigning letter A for the volume 4, that is Kali Linux. Then hit enter. Now it's showing this part, this part successfully assigned the letter drive or mount point. Oh, now, I, now you can go ahead and check. Oh, it's not there. Oh, oh my god. I see here this Kali Linux. I got this my drive here back. So, yeah, that's all for today. And I'll just clear the screen here. Oh my god. Oh, I need to exit this one. Okay, CLS. Now I'll just type exit. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting. And hope you, if you like the video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for daily upcoming videos. Thank you so much. And hope you have a great day. Bye bye.